I know you don't look at this day in, day out, but you must have a view on driverless cars and automation and even the, the end of cash and the impact this has on the economy in 5, 10, 15 years. Does anything that happened less, you know, in the last couple of days change that view? I'm getting more and more nervous. Um, I think we have had, we, we, we had a, a, maybe an overshot in terms of globalization up to the crisis and through the crisis to some extent. And I see a lot of winding back of this. And I think what you're, you're, you're referring to and what we just talked about on the, on the, in the IT industry and the tech industries, uh, I share sort of, guy sort of, of, of skepticism here. I mean, to some extent, these companies have been broken up in the sense that they're not free to operate in China and Russia, for example, right? They're, they're part of the world that say, we don't want this, right? And all the, the Europeans are saying a little bit, I don't really think you pay enough taxes uh, because you're shoveling through Ireland, so maybe we should tax, exactly as Richard said, maybe we should tax the, the place where the revenues come in. But this whole thing is not a smooth process, right? So you have to worry a little bit about this sort of how that impacts the economy in a, in a negative way. Well, we find ourselves in a situation where the Chinese, so basically you've got, you've got sort of two buckets of tech stocks around the world at the moment. You've got the kind of the US bucket and you've got the Asian bucket, which is largely the Chinese bucket. Yeah. Europe doesn't have much, no. so it kind of falls into one of those, yeah. those two. The, the, the Chinese bucket is going to be made up of companies that are going to get bigger and therefore potentially stronger, whereas there is increasingly this regulatory taxation burden that is likely to put on, be, be put on the, on, on the, the US ones. Right. So are we putting ourselves at a disadvantage? If we're heading down the road of a kind of trade war, their tech versus our tech, are we putting ourselves at a disadvantage? I don't know if we, uh, yeah, from a very sort of liberal kind of, of world view, we are in a sense, but, uh, but I think what we have seen is some of the backlash towards this uh, in, in, uh, in the political sphere of things, and, but also now in where, where these companies seem to be, if the reporting is correct, meddling with the political process. That's yep. that. so, so then I think most people would think, well, then there has to be some measures to take this back, right? Uh, so I, and, and, and that's what I meant by what I said before. I don't think that taking it back, I think politically it's understandable and probably desirable, but it's, it's, it's not smooth for, for the economy as this happens.